Hello, people, viewers, welcome to Mr. Who Views. Today, I'll be reviewing Yu Gi Oh! Dark Side of Dimension. This is set three years after the ending of the original series. And Yu Gi Oh! fans are actually graduating school. And you know it's a kid that they do remember but don't remember named the uh, Aikage or something, I can't remember his name. But he has other intentions. And his real name is actually a uh, Diva. And he's actually part of this group that has uh, the power called the Kalata or something. And with Kaiba, he's trying to find uh, the Nami Pogo Gang because he wants to duel with Pharaoh. I don't know why, why he just can't accept that on. And as he made a new uh, holographic dual disc where you can make anything up for your mind. And uh, this looks awesome. I am a lot of the same voice actors back in this. Well, I know that uh, Grandpa, Taya, or Yuki's Grandpa, and uh, Taya and Duke sound a little bit different. Um, is Duke like uh, a waiter now? Because it seems like he it is. It is, it is uh, GameStop does not do that good. But anyway, anyway, it turns out that uh, Diva and the uh, Bakura knew each other when they were kids because uh, Diva, uh, her, her father was looking for the and uh, then ring. At the time, uh, Diva is sits there and smart kids with Shoddy, who, who would see someone about to use the Kata uh, and just warn them that if they give it to the anger, then the power would turn dark. So it's kind of like the Force, except they could send people into dimensions where they could disappear. I don't know. Anyway, that's the time that Pekora actually killed Shoddy. I remember Pekora uh, using dark powers when he had the landing ring before, but I think it was retcon how uh, for his dad got the landing ring because in the first series he said that his dad got from a mercy and gave it. But whatever. And we gave it as revenge for what happened to Pekora. And the other ones, they got to Kaiba, since if uh, the Pharaoh is resurrected, then he, his sister, and their friends lose their powers, so, to fight him. And this movie has a lot more duels in it than uh, The Pair of Light and Fallen John Time. This one has about six or five, and they're all great. Whether it's, uh, Kaiba against the virtual version of the Pharaoh, or Kaiba and the uh, Diva, or Yugi, or Yugi and Diva, or Kaiba and Yugi. It's just great! Animation is just fantastic. The music is just brilliant always. And the comedy is just great. Kaiba is still a funny jerk. And still one of the best, uh, Anti heroes in anime history. Oh yeah, and there's some sport. I love to say spoilers here. I think we can say spoilers at the end of the episode sometimes. Or the video, whatever. Anyway, uh, after figuring out that the car is missing, uh, Kaiba is like Yugi to this tournament that he's having, but I don't know why he's saying it's a tournament and he's only about three people. Uh, the reason he's writing Yugi and the uh, Diva because they all have pieces of that puzzle that Kaiba is missing. And uh, the Diva's sister there that Yugi to save him. I don't know if that's his there, but whatever. And in the middle of Kaiba and Yugi's duel, Diva somehow goes to this other dimension where the Lenin ring is. Um, put on, it's not burnt uber dark. 
or with more able than he wants. So, hmm. anyway, Karma Yu gets a face uh, against the e super evil uh, diva, and the the good duel, and Karma just gets the life up for you to get the barrel back, and he does, but you can nearly dies. And Harold was named Parker, so a lot of points. Um, that's uh, about it for that hand. Uh, I don't really get it, because Clive said he's going somewhere after he sees that dimensional dual king and blast off somewhere in his space station. Um, he's somehow in the agent. Egypt against the Pharaoh. I don't know if he's actually in there or if he's just in another simulation. Simulation? simulation I don't know what I'm right. But, I don't really know. Oh yeah, actually, in the end credits, he actually plays a rock version of the Ego team and I just love it. It is great. This has to be the best movie of the entire Ego series. It has a great sympathetic Villain in a diva. Oh yeah, the voice actor for Dennis in the English dub was a diva, and just I think he's way better in this role than Dennis. I think it's more believable since I haven't seen the Japanese version. Um, there's this and this also so that uh, Kaiba and Yugi do mix as uh, a cam in their own way, like uh, Yugi misses a friend and Kaiba misses a rival. Um, so that's about it, but I got one question. Why isn't there a Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel movie? Hey, let's go off with the uh, Yuma and his friends going to Afterworld because there was a trap. Because, but they didn't know what the trap was. They got a little movie about that. This one was based on the manga and it was good. But maybe the next one could be better. I don't know how, but it could be better. Ugh, I don't know. I don't, even, I don't even know if this one is actually a canon to the Eagle series. Again, because it's based on a storyline in the manga. And I don't know if it actually connects what happened in the Eagle DX because Hyrule is still on Earth and the doing competition. I'll send some uh, cards on to space. And then just some other things. But again, I'll just say this is the best movie and I would see me watching it again and again when I can. And I just love it. If you seen the other reviews, you probably they love it, I'm just with them. And I'm just glad they made it. Anyway, hopefully if they do do if they do another a uh, Yugo movie, it would be just as great or somehow again better. But uh, what can I say? I'm just waiting for that. Until then, I'm with you. I'll see you guys later.